Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Tom Spark Reviews. Today we're talking about which is the better VPN. Is it going to be ExpressVPN or NordVPN? Now we've rated both of these VPNs here on the channel um, and got their own scores and put them on VPNTierList.com. So go ahead and check that out to see pretty much every VPN ranked by tier. Today we're checking out the differences between these two specifically if you're thinking about buying one or the other and by the end of this video we'll help you decide which one is the better choice for you. So guys if you do want to help support this video and get the best discounts you could click on the links in the description and pin comment. Those should get you the best deals that are currently going on with Express or Nord. So guys first up we're going to be talking about pricing. Which one is the better priced VPN and that's probably actually going to be somewhat of a toss up. Now ExpressVPN is the more expensive option, but NordVPN has a little bit of tricks up its sleeves. It likes to use countdown clock timers, which means that it kind of makes it seem like there's more sales going on than they currently are. They have like a sale going on like pretty much every point of the year. Like I said, my link should give you the best deal, but honestly NordVPN is about the same price all year long, but they make it seem like there's all these sales and stuff like that. It's really confusing. Um, but it's kind of there as like a marketing tactic um, and they do have a price increase after the first term so if you subscribe for like three years or two years for the specific deal it will increase after that term additionally both Nord and Express don't have more than eight plus simultaneous connections which is kind of too bad um, but that said if we look at ExpressVPN it doesn't use Canton clock timers and it doesn't have price increases after the first term that's just because ExpressVPN itself is so expensive. It's around $100 a year, around $13 a month. So it's pretty pricey in that respect. That said, ExpressVPN did say sell to Cape, which is another VPN company out there that likes to use countdown clock timers. So who's really to say, you know, what it will do going forward. That said, overall, it's a kind of a tops up between ExpressVPN and Nord. NordVPN does have longer term pricing that is cheaper than Express. Um, but you got to be careful with some of those auto renewal things and stuff like that. Overall, it's a toss up. Both VPNs are a little bit more pricey than I would like. But like I said, Nord is a little bit cheaper long term. So it's kind of up to you. If it was up to me, I would probably go for Nord in this category. Um, just kind of be wary of the auto renewals and stuff like that. Next up, we're going to be talking about the application. And I think here we have more of a clear winner than in the pricing category. And I'm going to give it to Nord. Nord does have a couple things that ExpressVPN does not have. It has DNS controls where you can customize your DNS and the application options. It has a SOX5 proxy, which is nice. It also has dedicated IP support you could get through the website. Um, it also has ad blocking in its application, which ExpressVPN does not have. And it has Nord Links, which is its own version of WireGuard, or it's just rebranded version of WireGuard. ExpressVPN doesn't have any of those things and its application is admittedly well polished and consistent, easy to use and stuff like that and works well. It's pretty basic and lacking a lot of those extra features that NordVPN does have. Now both these applications are missing a couple things like Linux GUI for Nord as well as port forwarding which can be useful for torrenting. So neither of them have the perfect application but the slight edge goes to NordVPN. Next up we're going to be talking about speeds. Which VPN has the better speed, Nord or Express? And I'm going to give that to Nord. Their version of WireGuard, pretty much just the rebranded version of WireGuard, I think does get better speeds and performance than ExpressVPN's protocol they have called Lightway. Lightway in my test has been extremely variable. Sometimes it's just as fast as WireGuard, sometimes it's not as fast at all. I would prefer WireGuard VPNs, and I don't think ExpressVPN's Lightway protocol has kind of been as good as WireGuard or lived up to the hype that they've kind of tried to generate around it. You don't really hear anyone talking about Lightway as a protocol compared to WireGuard. And there's a reason pretty much every single VPN out there has implemented the open source WireGuard protocol as their main protocol. So yeah, I think that shows to show that WireGuard is the best protocol. And NordVPN pretty much delivers pretty well with their WireGuard protocol. Next up, we can talk about privacy. Who does better here, Nord or Express? And it's kind of a wash up again, just like the pricing category. NordVPN offers more complimentary privacy services. They have password managers, virus scanners, um, data breach detection, stuff like that. Um, whereas ExpressVPN doesn't have as many complimentary offerings. They have like a router software. That's about it. Um, NordVPN has also always owned by a parent company, Tessanet. Whereas ExpressVPN, it did sell off to another company. And it, so it doesn't get a point for the acquisition kind of point there. Nord also has two-factor authentication, whereas ExpressVPN does not. But both of these don't use open source analytics, these Google analytics. 
They have Tumi trackers on their website, each of them, and trackers on Android as well, which isn't my preferred thing. Both these VPNs don't collect no logs. However, NordVPN did have an incident a couple of years back. Um, they blamed it on the server provider, but a lot of people were kind of upset with NordVPN's transparency about some server issues that happened a couple of years ago. So it's not as clean of a track record per se as Express, um, but once again, kind of a wash up in this category. Overall, pretty close to a tie. Next up, we can talk about customer support. And fortunately, both of these VPNs actually do pretty well in customer support nowadays. Both were able to respond to my ticket within one hour, which is pretty fast, and both have live chat options too. So not too bad there. Next up, we can talk about streaming and both VPNs perform pretty well in streaming, but I would give this slight advantage to Nord. ExpressVPN doesn't seem to be working with Prime Video lately, but both VPNs work fairly well with Netflix and stuff like that, even though it's probably not my top choice. Alright guys, finally, which is the better VPN in this head-to-head -head comparison? Well, I think NordVPN is going to have the slight advantage. It has a more feature-rich application, better speeds with its WireGuard protocol, and it also competes with ExpressVPN in the other areas. That said, neither one of these VPNs is perfect, just like no VPN is perfect out there. But if you do want to pick the better one here, I would suggest going with Nord, and you can find the link in the description or pinned comment below. Or if you don't like the sound of either of these VPNs with some of their cons, check out the tier list and pick an S tier VPN, which is the best combination of everything that I've discussed on the channel. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video very soon.